The Howling Wolf Taqueria is at 76 Lafayette Street at the corner of North Derby and Lafayette Street in Historic Salem, Massachusetts. You can visit their website at www.feedyourwolf.com. They're open seven days a week, 11.30 to 11, and they offer authentic Mexican cuisine with inspiration from California and New Mexico. We celebrate the green chili and all things spicy. We offer dining in, takeout, and delivery services. We share great draft beers with our customers and microbrews of all kinds, sangria and agave wine margaritas. Hey folks, rolling here in the hot seat with another episode of Order Up. We're here at Holland Wolf Taqueria in Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, look who's here with me. Hey guys, it's been a little while since you've seen me. A few days at least. At this yeah. point. Came over from the West Coast for a trip and decided to hurt myself a whole bunch. Yeah. This is going to happen. Uh, Holland Wolf Taqueria is providing us with some excellent food here. We're going to try off with a couple, start off with a couple of samplers here. We're not going to eat the whole thing because that's not part of the challenge. The challenge itself is to eat the burritos. But what we got here look like some pretty awesome wings. Yeah, apparently they're giving us a little bit of a, a special, like, kicked up version of some of their, their uh, spiciest food. And I can smell it already. This is going to hurt. Yeah, like those right there. We're going to... Oh, I'm worried about those. Get a look at that. Get a good shot of the uh, color coming off of those shrimp right there. Pain. It's pretty nasty, but <laughs> let's try one of these wings. Yeah, let's do that. Oh man, the drip is just dripping off of these things. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, science. <laughs> I think the correct right turn is perfect. Wow. That's really good. It is really good. It's also just kind of got like a honey flavor to it. I know, it's a good cross between mesquite and like a, like a buffalo tinge. Yeah. The actual heat of it is like, the, not much, I mean it's biting the tongue a little, but... Wow. I'm very impressed with these. Yeah. They're not over the top hot, but they're a great like medium burn that would make you feel good and make you kind of warm after a whole plate of them. Yeah, a little bit of endorphins going, something that like, you know, normal people would eat. Yeah, normal yeah. people. <laughs> Unlike us. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to put that, uh, I'll put it over here for now. We can get a few more napkins. We can get a few more napkins over there. Yeah, that's really good, sir. I would actually order a plate of those and be happy with them. Yeah. Well, I would order a plate of those as an appetizer. I'm a, I'm a big guy. I eat like a, like a horse. That's my problem. But it's relative. It's a nice starting burn there. You ready for those? Maybe. We'll find out. I know. Make sure it's nice and saucy. Very much so. There is a very thick red sauce just kind of dripping off these things. Uh, one of the owners did say that when he brought this plate out, he's like, this is probably something closer to what you guys are used to. <laughs> it looks like it. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That is a very... Ooh. It's immediate. So I shouldn't even try it right now. Yeah. Right? Oh, touch yeah. I'm probably going to go back for more eventually. Maybe after this, we'll see yeah. how I'm doing. But Depending on how much room's left. Look at this. Wow. Look at the size of this thing. And depending on how similar to that this is. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, those two red sauces look, I, look eerily similar. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's good. I'm going to go back for another one. <laughs> I can't quite pick out what pepper it is, though. It's like a, it tastes like a familiar sauce, but I can't place which yeah. sauce it is. It's got mushrooms in here too. Oh, there's some seeds. So yeah, they probably might be ground a, up. Those I was going to say it might be a freshly made sauce. Yeah. Regardless, I'm impressed. I think it might be ghost chilies. I am picking up a little bit of that signature uh, Naga flavor. Yeah. Oh my God! Wow. Ooh, runny nose. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have <laughs> plenty of napkins. We're gonna need. All right, those so are awesome. Those are a very good appetizer. We'll be back in a moment, and we'll be diving into these uh, entrees. Now we're going to try to get into this actual challenge here, which is to finish one of these entire burritos. This is a standard Howling Wolf burrito. Kicked up a few notches with extra God knows what they put in it to make it hotter. So there's no time limit. There's no drink limit. We have to finish it all. 
do you think your odds are of finishing this burrito here, Paul? About 50 50. The actual heat of it's probably not going to kill me, but that's yeah. a lot of burrito. I'm not a big guy. And it's, um, it's just kind of slathered in this thick looking sauce. I'm not too. licking the plate. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put that out there right now. You're not joining the Clean Plate Club? No. No. Uh, <laughs> I don't care about those Starkin' kids in Ethiopia, pretty obviously. Ah. Alright folks, well, maybe you're ready, buddy. Oh, let's do this. Let's duck in. Oh my god. Packed with wow. rice and more red sauce. Yeah. Queso cheese. Rolling. Turn it so I can see the inside. A little bit of a cross section there of what it looks like on the inside. Try to dissect the flavors, Paul. Yeah, it's good. There's mushrooms in this, too. Yeah. I find that I've never seen a burrito place with mushrooms in their burritos. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in this. You cut it open and it's like a, it's like a pinata. Everything just falls out of it. Let's see if I can do this with a... Actually get a plate. My god. Oh, that's the heat. Yeah. Yeah. You, can see, you can see that in here is all the, the little pieces of pepper that are left in there. Very much so. Yeah. Look how red this piece of burrito wrapping is. That's just from all the excess sauce they put in there. Oh my god. I mean the flavor is amazing. That yeah, flavor's great. It's so dense though. I sure don't scoop it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna finish this. <laughs> I may be on that same boat. Yeah. My record is currently one and oh. This is his first challenge, so we'll see where this goes. It's just the quantity. There's a lot of it. I came into this pretty hungry today, so I've been drinking all week. <laughs> Guy comes back from the West Coast and everyone's like, hey Paul, you're not fun unless you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> They're right. Well, let's, lo let's load them up with booze. Oh yeah. Oh no, engagement parties, not mine, but then that game last night. Yeah. The, the, the... And, ju and just the general welcome back party. <laughs> Yeah. I tried to talk at the wrong time. Oh my god. Pepper core or pepper thing, whatever. Holy crap. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like one bite of this isn't going to put you on the floor. But it's like as you keep eating, it keeps compiling upon itself. Yeah. And, and the fact that the one bite doesn't put you on the floor wouldn't be a big deal if there wasn't 70 bites yeah. in, <laughs> in this component burrito. I made it down. Yeah, I haven't done that. Like, oh, I didn't look at this. He's he's probably head for it. Um, I go tactic. I try to like save the actual wrapper for last because that is the densest, heaviest part. There's a lot of beans in this. Uh huh. Which are actually really well cooked too. Yeah. Yeah, More often than not, I've come to a burrito place and uh, the beans are a little too firm. It kind of throws off the overall yeah. texture. Or it's just they're basically cooked down the liquid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. There's bacon oh, in this burrito. You're right. I knew I read. Yeah. That's awesome. I kept getting like that. The, Nine out of ten. Yeah, I kept getting that crunch every once in a while. I was like, what is that? What am I eating? And yeah, very well crisped up bacon. Yeah. That's awesome. The texture on this is amazing. Like, I didn't even notice it at first. Yeah, man. If we break this down, there's shredded beef. You've got actual like green chilies and peppers. The bacon, beans, lots of rice. Really? Yeah. yeah, there's guac in there too. I'm a, I'm a bit of a guac, uh, guacamole snob, so the guacamole is good. That's usually what I made at base a restaurant, it's uh, quality. Yeah. Got to break into the uh, soda here. Edit. It never happened. This is like stick to your ribs, wholesome, just you eat half of this and you're good for the day. They're all like, like bacon. God. That's just that is a that's, lump it's a bacon. bacon rose. They love me. I'm gonna find one of those. It's awesome. Uh-huh. Yep. Man, I'm really
really starting to sweat now. <laughs> this is gonna get gross. Oh man. This is uh not to be gross here, but <laughs> it's getting that uh the heat's kicking in something fierce now. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's so much more. There is Go back to a fade and everyone come in and like start eating quickly, then get out and then <laughs> come back. Like, oh, you did. Where did it go? Wow! Where did it go? This little end piece here is going to be my downfall. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I think I'm at the point where just based on the quantity, I'm going to have to say that I'm not finishing this. But I'm still going to eat the hell out of it. Well, Roland, you can always just pick it up. And... Oh, I could if I wanted to be a big sloppy mess. Just blow it down. Yeah. But um, there's so much sauce and queso and uh, residual cheese on the outside of this thing. And bacon. Oh, yeah. And bacon, yeah. By the way, any place that puts bacon in a burrito gets one of these easily. Oh, yeah. Let's face it, we live in a society now where bacon is cheap, so good on. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Oh, no, it's pork. <laughs> or beef. I was going to say, I thought I got one of those bacon roses. <laughs> Figures, they give the, uh, they give the, 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 the Hollywood good-looking guy the rose. <laughs> I got a pat on the back of a thank you. We'll call you. <laughs> no, it's not you, it's us. You're fine, you're great. I'm sure you have a wonderful personality. <laughs> For a janitor. <laughs> Take that, janitors everywhere. And the hot seat does not endorse slapping of janitors. It'll discourage it, but it'll endorse it. Alright, I'm going to finish this. That is my goal. I don't care how bad I feel afterwards, how much sweat pours off me. It's a matter of pride at this point. Very full. There's not much room left in me. <laughs> Don't let it be said that we're forcing ourselves to eat this because we're forcing to. This tastes really good. It tastes, I mean, oh yeah, is what's keeping us going through this. It's just so hot. Ooh, look at that. Nice big piece of bacon there. There you go. On the top. Let me get a close up of that. It's good for you, I think. Wow. I'm not sure I would be proud, but... I got a bigger mouth capacity, so I can just pack it in there like a chip on it. Wow. Phrasing. Phrasing. Context. <laughs> oh, wow. I just got a pocket of the hot sauce. Yeah, I got a couple of those. You're like, da da da, not so bad. And it's like, Whoosh. just kind of... Yeah. Mine shot almost like literally up into my sinuses. Uh. Woo. Woo. How are you feeling? Really, really full. I probably should just stop. But I'm not. Yeah. Again, the flavor of this food is what's keeping it going. Really good. It's what kept me going. And my God, is that a piece of bacon lodged in there? It was. Oh, you bastard. Bacon beef. Alright, it's just beans. Damn. <laughs> that bacon tastes like beans. Alright. <laughs> Buddy. Because they should have gone from carbonated beverages so you can let out that burp and release some air, get some space in there. Well, I got nothing. I just got a little bit of water and like black matter. Just, just black density matter. in my stomach right now. Cool. Got a, a tiny little singularity in his belly. <laughs> I think we just passed the official 20 minute mark where my stomach is now telling my brain how full I am. It's a bit painful, but totally worth it. Ooh. But yeah, overall, I'd give that, uh, I'd, I'd definitely give that burrito a 9 out of 10. The only reason it's not going to be a 10 is for quantity. That thing was monstrous. 
And look at me, I am not a small eater. I've never been. I, I, I'm, I've been known to hold my own with some uh, pretty big meals. And I was like... I don't think anyone has ever doubted that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Context. <laughs> Go raw dog and just stuff the whole thing in at once. Yeah, that <laughs> would end so poorly for everybody in that general direction. Uh, also me. We could film it in 3D, <laughs> like the 3D effects. <laughs> Max just standing there, he's totally stoic. He's like wearing a Gallagher outfit, like with a with a tarp, and it's like uh, uh, in slow motion. James Cameron filming it. Michael Bay in the background with explosions. 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 You you'd be vomiting explosions. <laughs> <laughs> Well, especially with this stuff and with those shrimp, yeah, might be uh, napalm at that point. <laughs> yeah, those shrimp were something special. I'm really a big fan of those. Uh, yeah, those are good. I'm actually, yeah. I'm not going back for more, but we offered them up to our, our, our friends and the, the crew and everything. There were some good reactions. Yeah. If there was anything left, I'm definitely going to grab some. I'm not a competitive eater. I'm not either. Apparently we are now, though. Uh, well, I wouldn't say we're competitive eaters. We're challenge takers. Oh, okay. So, because this is a, this technically I would say counts as a quantity and heat challenge. We've never done just a straight up quantity challenge. We're planning on doing a few in the future, like maybe like something like Eagles Deli or something like that for the burger challenge. See if they can throw some jalapenos on it just so it fits in the theme of the hot and spicy. <laughs> That would be awesome. I was just going to say, you ready to uh, throw in the white flag? I'm working on it. <laughs> but, pro yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not finishing all of that. Hey, you still have ten minutes left. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, Come on, man. Do it. You got to save face. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> wow. All right, am I going to throw this one in? Yeah, throw it in. Alright. God damn it. You made a valiant effort. I don't want to puke. I know. I don't want you to be there. Especially in the middle of this fine establishment that was yeah. nice enough to host us. So. Oh, yeah. I just got a piece of whatever pepper that was in my tonsils. Nice. Uh. <laughs> Alright, well, I think we can, uh, we can put a little kibosh on this here, wrap this sucker up. Uh, <laughs> Howlin' Wolf Taqueria, uh, excellent food. The burrito challenge is daunting. Daunting. It is huge. If you come here specifically, ask for In the Hot Seat Special. We don't know if they're going to name it that, but it would be nice if they did. Just saying. Um, I finished mine. He made a... He's a little guy, let's be honest. Look at the size of this guy, Michael Johnson. He's a, he's a waif. He's like Tiny Tim. You can stop anytime. <laughs> anytime you want to. He's minuscule. We... Pepito. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Any final words for closing out here, Paul? Uh, not really. I'm happy to be home for at least a little while. We'll be heading back to the West Coast. I guess this is in the hot seat. East Coast edition then. East Coast, um, West Coast. The connection. That sounded kind of gay, didn't it? Phrasing. Phrasing. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Uh, really enjoyed the food. Love coming back to Howling Bowl because I've been here since like. July, June, maybe? Yeah. 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 It's been a while. So, uh, thanks for having us uh, get set up. This makes me happy. Well, we got to thank Devin when we see him. He's the one who sets these up for us. Great guy. All right. Well, I guess we'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm, doing my, I'm doing my outro. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's processing. All right. Well, I guess we'll see you next episode, folks. I'm out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>